All right, y'all, 28 days of bars. I'm on my 12th day, and yeah, I'm going to go right into it. But I always got to break down why this is a challenge, right? Because the goal is to challenge myself 28 times during every post. So a lot of people who follow me on Instagram know me from two things, which have evolved, right? So one is our hip hop, right? I came up as my opinion, one of the greatest MCs that ever lived. Um, Yeah, it's my thoughts. But I always kept growing, you know, before that I was writing spoken word and poetry and then it evolved. But when I started displaying my art was around my mid to late 20s. You know, I was a late bloomer in that. And I um, I worked a lot before. So I was freestyling all over the place. I was writing notebooks, filling them up. And then I got to a point where I wrote so much that it developed into freestyle. I think a lot of freestyle people, which is why I don't consider what I do freestyle, I consider it I'm making up songs on the spot. Uh, I don't really do the, look at that plant, I can't and can't, there's a sofa, you know you're talking to the best and I'm dead in the rest. I can do that and I was in battles and that type, but that's not really like my goal. My goal is to be a songwriter, right? So most people know me from, from that, where I actively put myself out and put out records like that. And then the other world is through what is creative expressions, you can check the link in my bio. And what that is, is arts education work, where I became a teaching artist from the time of 2007 till about 2015, 16 around, and then I stopped doing that. And during my teaching artist time, I learned from kids all over New York City, different countries and places in songwriting and music production workshops. So with that being said, I... I uh, learned a lot about music through that, and that's what got me into playing the instruments. And, you know, I have a background where I went to audio engineering school, and I've been living as an artist and through my company for 15 years, which is insane and incredible. I live in a one-bedroom apartment uh, in New York City in Astoria, so that in itself is a, is a success, you know, so... That's what happened, but at where I'm at, I am most interested in displaying my art. Like hip hop is my foundation and my pedagogy, but really what I'm more into, and I don't listen to that much hip hop music. So um, I mainly listen to instrumental music. If my friends of any style or whatever do their thing, that's cool. But I mainly listen to music that has no words or like world music that has a lot of singing. That's that's what my personal taste is at this time. You know, when I was a teenager, I was kind of like hip hop, reggae, you know, and all that. But yeah, I've been writing songs. So before I start, like, and I was looking for singers always since 2010 to sing the songs that I write and now here we are 2024 and you know just to get to it uh, I'm realizing I'm the one who has to do it but just like it was with any craft I learned engineering or anything it took me years to get to the level that I would like to be so this is a song I wrote called Blue Bud I'm just gonna do one song this is not a freestyle it's it's a song enjoy Seasons come and seasons go Why you leave, I'll never know See all my problems, they ain't been right and Maybe that's why I'm up all night Oh, I don't know Cause you show me Waiting for you 
I fool again Waiting For you Cause now isn't there No oh, oh. La 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 Falling in love baby While I'm waiting on challenge nice and short for day 12 i always drop my insight because rather than just trying to display myself as this i am striving to display all of me and this song isn't out because there's a rite of passage i do with my art meaning that like i gotta strip it down to voice and one instrument and that takes time for me to do i'm not embarrassed to share where I'm at but I would like to continue growing and developing so that's the challenge and for me I end this challenge by saying like yeah I I'm I'm a little tired of people who have a fixed memory of certain parts in my career because and it's not their fault it's they just remember me from like being one of the greatest MCs that ever lived and that's like a high level compliment but I can't listen to that if there's somewhere further I need to grow. So my spirit is calling me to grow into being the best that I can and expressing myself, uh, bringing it back down to the rawest way, which is an instrument and voice, mastering at that, just like the old blues singers and the old uh, jazz people did in the 20s when, when this is all you had. You, there was no auto-tune, there wasn't anything, it was just the basics and then once that foundation is laid for me stronger and stronger and stronger I'll be able to make a million albums but you got to have a strong foundation I have a strong foundation as an audio engineer I have a strong foundation as a producer as an MC as a songwriter I have those foundations but now as a instrument player and a vocalist these are the foundations that I'm developing to build the total picture of me and I always want to just make sure I'm coming with a level of challenge and vulnerability. So, thank you for watching Day 12.